Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk a bit about how I like to configure my yaw scope and get it set up for controlling, in this case, on Edinburgh Tower. Um, so I'll talk a bit about how I like the lists and the different features that UK Controller plugin offers where I like to position them and things and how I actually run two instances of Euroscope, one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side to have the surface movement radar and the uh, aerodrome traffic monitor or radar radar uh, both visible at the same time which really helps with my controlling. So let's launch Euroscope without further ado. So I'm already in the uh, documents Euroscope UK uh, pack and I'll uh, start by opening the surface movement radar, that's the first one we'll do. This is just the uh, latest uh, pack, the 2022-06 pack, so this is how it comes out of the box, which is okay I guess, but not how I like it. So for this, I like to have this on the left hand side, the surface movement radar, and I'll have the radar on the right hand side in a moment. So the way you do that is you right click on this full size box at the top and then click on left whichever option you want but I'm going to do left two thirds and you can see that zooms out quite a bit so you just scroll in to re-zoom in right click and drag to position the uh, airport I guess somewhere like that And you can see it's also squidged up some of my lists up here. So that's the controller list, this one, with all the letters across the top. So that one can get quite long when there's lots of controllers nearby. So I like to have that where there's lots of space on the right hand side there is good. The sector inbound list and sector exit list is a tower controller. You don't tend to get much traffic on those. So I put them somewhere down here. I actually like to link them so that when I move one, I move the other. So I keep them next to each other. So the way you do that is by going to quick settings. Or is it, it might be other settings. No quick settings. Oh yeah, connect sector exit list to sector inbound list bottom. So then when I move one of them, they both move. That's really useful. Put those about there. Uh, the departure list I just have on the left somewhere like there and uh, this departure list as it comes in the pack isn't hasn't got all the features that I like to have so it's got the main ones across the top you can see what they all are um, one feature which is really good with the pack is that you can do a SRD search a standard root document search Oh, there's an update to the sector file. I would like to load and change it. Yeah, why not? Um, that's just because the pack's a bit older than the latest sector file. But anyway. Um, so, sometimes the SRD search doesn't populate the correct exit point of the FAR. So, a trick to that is you can add an item into the uh, departure list which will show you the FIR exit point so to do that you click on the little s which is to set up the list the setup dialog then you can add item and its item type is going to be scroll down to FIR exit point name and I call that exit not very creative uh, they're usually five or s five characters uh, fixed name, but I'll just give it six because sometimes they have a, I don't know, just in case I guess. And then left button I'm going to have as the uh, UK controller plugin SRD search. And I'll do the same for the right button. That just means I can use this as the SRD search as well. And then to get that in the right place, you use these item up and item down buttons. So I want to have that next to my destination airfield. So there. And then I'll press OK. And there you can see it's populated there. Exit. Uh, let's see what other things on the departure list I want to talk about. So the little F, that's for things that are in the list 
but aren't being displayed. So you can turn on the scratch pad, that's very useful to have. And then you get your scratch pad, so you can do uh, clearance limits when you're doing taxing and all that kind of stuff. Is there anything else? Next frequency can be useful, but I don't personally have it on because I tend to know them, especially Edinburgh. Uh, ground speed, if you really want it. I don't think that's necessary. Um, then the number here is how long the list can get. So if you click that, it's on a maximum 10 at the moment, or fixed 10. Maybe it was fixed 10. I'll just says 10 either way. Anyway, I like to have that as unlimited. If you have it as a fixed or maximum, you get a scroll bar if it gets to that length, and then you have to scroll through them. Oops. Um, if you have it as unlimited, they'll just grow as required. So I'll put my metal list about there. Move this control list up to there. If you're wondering what all these um, letters are there for the different types of controller, so I think O is observer, U is unidentified, and you can turn these all off and on as you wish. I leave them all on. Um, it's just if you want to avoid clutter. And then I'm actually missing one of the lists. I'm missing the arrival list, which I quite like to have, so I can put arrival stands in and things. So I think that's quick settings. Show arrival list. It's come up down here. So I'll put that up there. It's got the scratch pad, it's got a stand number. So that's all good. But again, I'm gonna change this to unlimited. And then um, the final thing I like to have is the show team speak VCCS mini control. And I put that just there like that. So then once you've done all your changes, and you're happy with them, you can close. Yes, you want to exit. And it'll ask you about all the changes you made and whether you want to save them. So yes, I want to save that. This is the Edinburgh SMR ASR save. Lists in Scottish has also been edited. So yes, I do want to save that. The caution here is that that will affect all your uh, lists basically uh, actually it's Scottish dot dot so I think that might be all your UK data settings lists I'm not entirely sure but you might edit things and then find that you've changed things in other uh, profiles because they share a common settings file but uh, we do want to save that Ah, yeah, so this is the screen settings for Scottish approach. Uh, so we'll save all these as well. And save those. This is the profile Edinburgh SMR profile. So things like the VCCS mini control, you can see the X coordinate and Y coordinate there. Um, they, they are specific to the profile, so they won't be shared. Save that. So then when we reopen your scope and open the Edinburgh SMR again, there it is, how we left it. Perfect. So then we'll do the radar next. So for this, I use the Edinburgh profile, the generic Edinburgh profile. Again, we've got the updated sector file, so I'll update that. Of course, that is empty. Okay, so you can see the lists and everything are in the same positions as the uh, SMR. That's because we saved them and they're shared as a common file. But that's fine because when I put this in the right third, all I'm going to do is close those lists. So all I actually have to do is position this how I like it. So I put that there. And then I'll close all these. And 
and then I want to set this up how I want to have it so it'll be zoomed in a bit and then I like to have the fixed names on so let's find out which one of that these F11, F12, F13, F14 always the last one isn't it so F14 has the fixed names and the VRP names which are really useful as a tower controller um, so if you want to know somebody's requesting to leave the zone to the south you can know you can give them Westlington VLP whatever um, so that's good the only thing it doesn't come with on on that is the hospitals which are a separate free text item so to display those you go to other settings display settings it's a free text item and it's towards the bottom I think UK hems apply and there you can see we've got the Queen Elizabeth over here and the Royal Infirmary there okay so again in the same way we're going to right click there go to right third and then zoom in to about there and that's pretty much it so we'll close this now just to, to force it to save those changes yes I want to exit select file name yes now this is the same file that's shared so the display area wait let me get this right no it's not it's ASR1 so that's the one we're not actually using so I don't mind saving that ASR2 save ASR3 save SR4, this is the one that we've changed a little bit by adding the uh, hands things. So we can save that. The ASRs are fine to save, they're not, they're not going to be a problem. But this is the lists, and um, we've set off the visibility of these lists which we want to have on, on the SMR. And because that's a shared file, the same file, we want to cancel on that. And you'll have to do this every time you load up, I'm afraid, with this kind of setup. So you press cancel on those th four. And uh, this is the same story. You've set the visibility off and changed the screen position from the left hand two thirds to the right hand third. So cancel on that as well. Um, the VCCS stuff, that's all linked to the Edinburgh profile rather than the Edinburgh SMR profile. So you can say those. And then will load it up again so I'm just doing a right click on the thing to open your scope and the uh, Enbra profile and it'll open up as we want to except with the lists open so you can see the VCCS has moved we're zoomed in we've got the hospitals all that stuff but we just have to close the lists and switch it to the right hand third and you have to do that every time you load up the profile but that's pretty quick and easy so then what else do I like to have as a tower controller well obviously you need the audio for that sim so I open that and I have that down here I also want to have the uh, countdown timer so I can do departure separation so just minimize that a sec so I have that above the audio for that sim on the right hand side so this OP that's the UK controller plugin settings so I want to uh, display uh, countdown timer where is it oh it's ticked okay so when I'm maximized I've actually got these things over here that are out of view um, so I want to just bring it over there I'm not going to have these things are visible so I'll close those and I'll turn off the uh, display missed approach button I'll have that on the other uh, display so put it back to that put that there and then on this side I like to have the uh, wake turbulence calculator put that down here and I also like to have the go around button on this side it might already be there 
yeah it's up here so bring that over close that switch back to the left two thirds put the go around button down there so that's pretty much the setup as I like it um, the thing to say now is because you've got two instances of your scope running you have to connect one first and then connect the second via what's referred to as the proxy so I'll always connect the SMR first that has to be direct to that sim call sign I'll just use my observer call sign for the purposes of this demonstration Uh, rating is S2 server UK. I shall just uh, put my password in. You've got to make sure you've got the proxy server running. So proxy server is running. That's good. Connect. Uh, we'll not set a frequency. We can close these messages. Double, double clicking on them dot viz echo golf papa hotel to get any aircraft in the area uh, there's a few good um, and then you can see that you can see them here but nothing on the uh, radar display that's because it's not connected you can't connect it direct to vatsim as then you'd have a second connection so it has to be to vatsim via proxy call sign oops close that and then you can see traffic so that's good so now the final thing to do is close everything and make sure it works when we reopen it so close this yes I want to exit I don't want to save the automatic log session data this is the profile so I've moved the countdown position and I've changed the visibility on those things that's good to save I don't save those four because that's a common settings file I don't save those three because they're uh, common to the SMR as well. Uh, but I can save all this lot. Which included the um, connector that's in via proxy. So now when I open it up, it should automatically be connected to that's in via proxy. You can see that link there, it's automatically connected. I just do the right third, I'll not bother closing the list, but you can see the traffic. So that's it, everything working as we wish. When I close this one, I can save the positions of uh, these two that I'm pre prompted. So I'll just do that. Yes, no. Uh, just cancel all on that. Uh, close, yes, no. So here we go, the uh, Edinburgh SMR ASR, and I want to save these positions. Okay, so I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks very much for watching.